Like war stories and disaster stories, stories of the zombie apocalypse are stories about a society where society no longer really exists. All the guardrails that we normally sort of rely on to keep people within the range of certain boundaries are gone. And so there's a powerful sense that one of the most important questions to be explored in a world like this, and that these stories actually help us explore for ourselves, is the, the field of human ethics. Um, what are we doing? What should be we, do, we be doing? Um, how should we be doing it? And what makes them particularly uh, important questions in the world of the zombie apocalypse is that many of the things that people relied on in the past, those guardrails, have to be examined in a new light uh, in terms of what is possible in the new world. So for example, one of the guardrails that we have in many traditions is some version of the commandment, thou shalt not kill. And yet, if you're going to survive in the zombie apocalypse, you're going to have to kill zombies. You may have to kill other human beings. Um, and you're going to have to come up with a rationale that allows you to do that and somehow keep your sanity. And so in many of the, the stories of the zombie apocalypse, there are actual debates, often as people are surrounded by zombies, about what it is that they should do and uh, what is the right thing and what is the wrong thing. One of the stories that I read um, in my book, uh, Living with the Living Dead, is the Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Road, by Cormac McCarthy. The, uh, the monsters in that book are not George Romero zombies. You know, they're not dead, returned to life. But it is this apocalyptic world where the, the main characters, a boy and his father, are running from um, other creatures who want to kill them and eat them. <laughs> And so there's this very strong sense in which um, it's the identical sorts of questions being wrestled with. And what I love about this book is not only that it's a, a beautiful and hard uh, and, and painful but amazing read, but that, that there is this ongoing discussion between the father and, and child about what kind of person can you be in a world like this. The way that they format it is to say, um, are we the good guys? And the son continually asks that question, are we the good guys? And after his father does something which allows them to survive, they'll often have that conversation again, are we still the good guys? So here's a conversation from the novel. Um, and the boy has a question about a horrible scene that they have stumbled into where uh, a number of human prisoners are being kept as food. and. Um, they escape barely with their own lives. And we know, of course, from our understanding of ethics that uh, a heroic thing to do would have been to free those people. But that's not the world that the man and the boy live in anymore. And so the boy begins by asking this question. We would never eat anybody, would we? No, of course not. Even if we were starving, we're starving now. You said we weren't. I said we weren't dying. I didn't say we weren't starving. But we wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. No matter what? No. No matter what. Because we're the good guys? Yes. And we're carrying the fire. And we're carrying the fire. Yes. Okay. That metaphor of carrying the fire is the one that I used in the book to think about what the ethics of the zombie apocalypse feel like, look like, and how we can sort of transfer them to our own modern day questions about our own uh, desires to be isolated and um, also our own desires to do the right thing. Carrying the fire in the road is about trying to hold on to human values in an inhuman society, uh, in a place where there is no society anymore. And it's a question that many of the characters in many of these stories of the zombie apocalypse wrestle with.